Welcome here to Colac Local Footy FM Facebook page and maxblakemedia.com interviewing one-on-one with Ben Cox from the South Colac Footy Club. Ben, good afternoon, mate. Good yeah, mate. How are you going? Yeah, not too bad. How's things going? Yeah, things are going all right. <laughs> fresh, out, fresh out to having a good bit on the weekend. Yeah, I'll tell you what, and you would have been pumped about it, mate. You would have... How, how, how far into the night did you celebrate the win? Uh, I went to all hours actually, so <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, just keep, keep it up. <laughs> oh, that's all right, that's all right, mate. Um, mate, it would have been great to be out there. You've been out since round three. I've talked to you a few times, uh, and you know, you just just wanted to get back out there. You felt a lot of hurt for the boys. You know, they, they haven't been performing that well. Them, you know, losing these close games. You finally got out there and kicked six goals, and you had a big win against the rivals and the side that pinched it off you in round one. Yeah, you're right, mate. It was just, as I said, it was just good to get back out there with the boys. And, um, yeah, we're just, we're, we're just slacking on that, I know, just that extra forward down, you know, down forward to kick those couple extra goals and to get back out there and do that, especially against uh, the Insta and the Federal Year, and to get out there and have a win was just awesome. And, uh, mate, were you surprised on how you actually went? Myself or yeah. No, you, you personally, were yeah. you surprised how well you actually played on Saturday? Um, yeah, I was actually. I, I, Kicking the first goal, that just got me going from the word go, really. Yeah. So, yeah. As, soon as, I, as soon as I kicked down, I thought, yeah, well, here we go, this could be good. So, <laughs> are, you, are you a confidence player when that happens? You kick the first goal and, you know, it could be early in the game and your morale boots is up. We did speak to Whopper Harding a couple of weeks ago and he said the same thing. If he doesn't kick one early or he misses one, you know, his confidence goes down. But if he can snag one early, it's it's right up there. And I think Fords like Cam Mooney have said it in the past as well. Is it trigger on your yeah. mind as well? Yeah, it's probably, it's probably actually right. Like, as you say, if you kick that first goal nice and early, it gets you... Get your pump, get your team pumped, and yeah, it just um, goes from there. But uh, like Whopper's obviously said, if you don't kick one early, then I know I suppose it does go down a little bit. But yeah, what sort of stuff did you do while you were out, mate? I know well, you spoke to Jake O'Dwyer last week. He you said you're still training pretty heavily. Um, with that knee, how limited were you in training? Um, you know, really, all I can do is. Probably pull work really because yep. every time I'm every time I'm running, it's just blowing straight up. So, yeah, yep. um, I didn't really train. Well, I've probably been ran twice or so in the last on like six weeks or something. Yeah, and yeah, I wasn't I wasn't even going to play so bad, but I put my hand up and <laughs> I'm glad I did. That's for sure. <laughs> are you going to Are you going to play this week? Can you back it up? Yeah, I'll back it up, mate. Oh, good to see. Because, as I said, interviewed Jake O'Dwyer last week, had a great comeback, and we pumped him up. We said, Coxie and O'Dwyer's back this week as well, and Jake, he didn't play on Saturday. Yeah, no, he must have put up a bit of sauce from uh, the week before, but hopefully he gets back out there this week, and we're nearly back to full strength, and it's actually starting to show. You've got a pretty good prone attack now. We uh, In the commentary box, we love Freddie. He's pretty good, exciting to watch. <laughs> and then you've got yourself, and then you've got the big fella, Jakey Veal, as well, mate. Uh, back yeah, Jakey Veal's sort of down there nicely. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's done everything right to keep his spot. So. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I think a lot of people forget actually how good he was. Um, yeah, yeah, that's his right. His knee problems. And then even when he was back, oh, he coaches the twos, but in the twos, he leads the goal kicking pretty well and kicks a lot yeah. of goals. So, he, he, you guys are pretty, you know, adamant with that forward line. Do you think if you if your knee does, you know, get a lot better towards the end of the year, would you play a bit more in the midfield? Like I, I think that was at the start of the season was your plan. Um, oh, the way the way it's feeling, I, I can't see myself coming back up there this year. Yeah. Because um, yeah, no, look, it's just going to keep blowing up. I'm going to have to cover that for the rest of the year. Yeah. Um, I'm happy to stay down for it, mate. <laughs> uh, that's all right, mate. But when it happened, mate, what did you feel? What was your, I guess, I, I, I know you can see the gut look on your face that, you know, you, you're looking, you know, not that flash, but what was your feeling, you know, as that probably sitting there waiting and trying to figure out what was going wrong with your knee? What, what did you think in the first instance that you, when you went down? No, I, I thought I'd probably done it for sure. Yep. The pain and through the land, and yeah, just the pain was, I don't know. Well, I've never, I've never actually done a knee before. Yeah. But to go through that pain, I thought I'd done something major. But yeah, I got the, I got the best case scenario. But yeah, it still set me off two months. So yeah, yeah. Well, what, when the doctor did say that, did you, did you do a Benny Cox, you know, finger in the air, fist in the air, or celebration, or were you still <laughs> a little bit gutted? No, I was still gutted, mate. Since <laughs> so yeah. your injury, mate, it's, it's yeah. the best thing you do. You miss, you miss weeks of footy and young mate. It's what you train for, so. 
And yeah, uh, we sit, we've done a few South games, and we've spotted you on the uh, the sidelines, mate. And when the umpires blow the whistle differently towards <laughs> what I think you've been favoured, you've jumped up, hands up in the air. You and Jake O'Dwyer have uh, been the the South College cheer squad this season. How hard was it sitting there watching them play, mate, and be, having to, you know, as I said, basically be a supporter for the whole game? Ah, uh, yeah, that was actually that was definitely the hardest thing for sure. Yeah, I see how hard. I see what Jakey goes off about now when you stand there just watching and. <laughs> I know your, your team's not doing what you're supposed to be doing, or yeah. no, bad on board decision, but you got to deal with that. And, and <laughs> yeah, nah. <laughs> definitely not going to be sitting on there for my time. <laughs> what about but, the, the players, mate? Because um, I know it has been one of those, it's just been one of those seasons, I think, and you're starting to you, you get the form together, but there's been some good quality kids coming through, and you must be pretty pleased with your small blokes. Monaghan and Timmy Spears have been pretty good, Whitecross and Broomfield. Those sort of players must um, give you a, a real smile at the end of the games. Yeah, they do. It's consistency, too. That, like, Tim Foley drilled that into everyone at the start of the year. you just got to have consistency, and Especially if the kids are doing it, then I'm like, it just makes the older boys want to do it as well. Yeah, exactly. So, How have you found yeah. Timmy going, mate? He's, he's been uh, very highly rated down there at South Colac, I've been told. Who's that, mate? Foley? T- yeah, Timmy Foley, yeah. Yeah, no, he's, he's really good. Um, he was great with my, in my rehab and stuff. Just yep. always ran up and just being there for me and just doing all the right stuff that he should be doing. And I, I, I see why he's very uh, respected at South Colac. Mate, um, big game against Western Eagles on Saturday. It's huge because I, get, I think every game for the South Colic is huge now. But what's helped you is they did get done on the weekend and LV, I guess, have continued their winning run as well. Um, yeah. The spot, there's only one. I guess now it opens up two spots for the top five. I guess how confident are you? Are you taking it one week at a time or do you, do you see a passage in the next few weeks? Because you do have some winnable games as well. Do you yeah. see a, a real break in play that you can make the top five? Yeah, no, we, we believe we can make the top five, and if we do, we're going to be really challenging, as we show on the weekend, but you got to go week by week, yep. and Eagles this week, which is going to be a very tough game, it's out there, yep. uh, and they're still in the top three, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, sitting like, fourth yeah. at the moment, they're, they're, fourth, they yeah, haven't so. submitted their spot yet, so they've yeah. got a bit to play for as well. Yeah, they've, I don't know, they've, they've chopped off a little bit, let it start and they come good, so yep. I'm hoping, yeah, hopefully we have a good <laughs> win, and then just go... Week by week and get in the top five. Out of all the sides you've had to play against or you've watched this season, Coxie, who's the best one that's really caught your eye? Um, definitely Lawn. They gave us an absolute pizzle when we played yeah. them. So just the tools that they got and just playing, playing on small grounds really suits them. So I know hopefully if we come finals, come across them on the big ground, I don't know. <laughs> you never know. So. <laughs> just, just one question for you, two, to wrap things up, Coxie. Yeah, you, know, right. you can answer this either way. You can you can just throw it away and say you don't want to answer this, Maxie. <laughs> but do you believe that you get free kicks paid against you because you are Ben Cox? <laughs> um, shit, I don't know what to say to that. Um, <laughs> I, I just, no, you, could, you could be right. Yeah, could I, be wrong with that. I just, just feel <laughs> that on Saturday a couple went against you. and uh, But however... Kent ben Cox a couple of years ago would have mouthed off a bit more, but I think I saw you just take a step back and just continue playing. Do you think that that side of your game you've really matured a bit? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Like when I was back at Al, back at Alvia, I noticed kept yeah. losing my cool stuff and coming to South. I don't know we spoke about that when I first got there. That was part of it. If they wanted to take me and stuff, yep. so yep. no, it's good. I'm, I've grown up since. And then I've learned to shut my mouth a little bit. I can still mouth off. Yeah. Still mouth off every now and then, but no, you just got to just got to zip it and let it go. It's all it's human nature, Coxie. It's all good, mate. Thanks for talking to me today. Go on Colac Local Footy FM Facebook page and MaxBlakeMedia.com. Uh, pleasure to talk to you, and hopefully, fingers crossed, you stay fit all season, and maybe we'll see South Colac play in the finals this year. All right, Maxie, cheers. That's Ben Cox speaking to me here on Colac Local Footy FM.